Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. This is the first video of the FastReport.net objects, a series where we look at different objects that you can use in your reports. In this one, we'll examine the text-related objects – text, rich text, cellular text, zip code and HTML objects. So, let's begin. The text object is the simplest way to display your text. You can change the font, size, style and color. The border options are supported by a lot of objects, and the text object is one of them. With these buttons, you can disable or enable the border around the whole object, or for example, the border on one of its sides, and there is a setting for a shadow. This button opens the border editor. Using it, you can set up different styles for each line of the border. Select the line's style, width and color, and click on the line you want to modify. You can set the alignment with this set of buttons. And you can change the angle of any text object with this editor. You can input any angle you want, or use any of those angles. The angle, just like any other property, can be changed from the script. For example, we will rotate the object 15 degrees when it's clicked on. As you can see, the expression in this object also changes. This is because we refreshed the report to display the changes we made. Let's now look at these expressions. There is a set of system variables and functions that you can use. The variable date gets the current system date. Everything in square brackets will be considered an expression. You can disable it in the properties of the object and the engine will treat the text in the brackets just like any other text. The property is called allow expressions. You can also change the brackets to any pair of symbols. The existing brackets won't change, but anything that you add from the right menu after the change will be in the correct brackets. The functions help you to calculate different things. For example, you can add something to a date maybe a day. We can get tomorrow's date by adding a date to today's one. There is also a format setting. You can choose an expression and choose the way it will be formatted. As you can see, the format has changed. If you need some format that is not included by default, you can specify a custom format. If you type this, the date will be displayed this way the day, then the full name of the month, and then the year, separated by spaces. This can be rearranged in any way. Also, you can make any calculations using the expressions. For example, there is a square root function. Next, there is a support for formatting inside the text object using a set of inline HTML tags. We have a detailed article about this function on our website, and the link to it will be in the description. In short, the property text render type should be set to HTML tags, and then the tags will be processed properly. The full list of tags that are supported by this function can be found in the article. There is also a property underlines which creates a set of lines that scale with the font size. Now let's look at the rich text object. This text object supports different formatting for its parts by default. You can set up the style for each and every part of it. Also, you can save the document you've created into a RTF file. and you can load your own RTF documents. By default, the text of this component is exported as a picture using the system's libraries. To export it as actual text that can be copied, we have implemented our own RTF parser. To enable it, you should set the convert rich text to true. As you can see, with it enabled, the exported text is as expected, not an image. This cellular text object 
allows you to display each letter in its own cell. You can set up its body and its style, the same way like with other objects. You can increase the size of the cells. If one of the numbers is zero, then it's calculated automatically, because cells can be with zero width or height. There are also settings for horizontal and vertical spacing. And there is a setting for wrapping words. And alignment settings, which are changed by these buttons. The next object is the zip code. This object displays the numbers in a special grid-based font. You can show and hide that grid and also markers. It's possible to set the amount of the segments that display numbers. And if there's not enough info to display, there will be zeros in the absent places. And it's possible to change the fill and the text color. The last object we'll examine today is the HTML object. It's been added to be used with the HTML export. All the text in it will be treated as the HTML markup. Here you can see a simple example. The HTML object will display in the preview as just text. To make it work, we'll have to export the report to HTML format. And we should place an image file to the files folder. So, as you can see, all the HTML markup is processed by the browser. And this was all for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. In the description, you can find a link to the fastreport.net objects playlist.